Hello friends, welcome on back. My name is Planet Becky. Welcome back. This is now episode six of our f how to start a franchise mode. Um, I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thank you so much for the comments on previous videos. Don't forget I record these all in advance. So, so far I've seen any comments up to episode four. Um, I really appreciate every single one of them. I am trying to implement as many of the comments as I can. Um, so yeah, if you are returning and you're excited about this, leave me a little comment down below. Uh, and also don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm excited to jump back in. Um, I think in this episode, there will be a lot of time jumps for you guys because what I'm gonna try and do is because I only wanted to do this particular zoo for like another one episode, maybe two, um, I would like to try and get as much research as I can done. So what this this episode is going to be more about is I'm going to do a couple of little time jumps for you so you don't have to sit through the really boring parts because I'm mainly just going to let the zoo run. I may release a few animals. Uh, at the beginning, I'm going to try and get maybe one or two more habitats in and I'm going to build those out really quickly. So the only things that I'll be focusing on during the timed jumps that we're apart is possibly doing a little bit of decoration just while I'm waiting for things to run. I will be doing as much education things as I can. We'll be doing a lot of vet research and a lot of mechanic research. Although we probably won't be able to finish all of the research within this first zoo, I think it'd be really cool to get as much done as we can so that for the future, for the future zoos, we can get as m things in a lot quicker. Um, I think it would also be really cool if we could use this current zoo to start with our next zoo. So if you don't know this already, with franchise mode, when you open up your next zoo, all of the research that's all of there, all of the research that you've done in your in any previous zoos carries over to your next zoo so that's both vet research and mechanic research and the other really cool thing is your trade center any animals that are in that trade center can be transferred to other zoos so if you think about it like they're sister zoos um so i what i really want to try and do because i have quite a lot of money in this first zoo at the moment is to get some bigger animals in that will attract the customers in really really quickly on that second zoo so I can start that up and just explode it with money basically hopefully that's that's the plan inside my head uh, it would be really cool if we could maybe get like lions or like tigers or something into this zoo so I might try and get one of each of those um i would also really really like to if i can get elephants into every single one of my zoos going forward into every single franchise i may have to come back and add those later but we'll see what we can afford and what we can do um anyway let us jump straight in once again let's just quickly look at our franchise management we have now since released 18 animals a lot of those were mainly capybaras from last time we've earned 297 conservation credits and i would really really like to get out that that up even higher if we possibly can um we've had 58 animals born though that's insane we should definitely try and keep that going so let's jump straight in Look at how cute these little animals are. Anyway, what is going on? Oh, that's good. We come in and straight away two of our animals. Dead. Oh, dead in the water as well. That is... What a way to go. Oh, both of them are. Oh, dude, get out the water. Oh, man. Let's get these in. One of them is being quarantined. The rest should all be fine. We might maybe need to get another male then. Vet research is done. Um, okay, we need to grab them. Mm. 
people there to say hello. I don't know how many of these we're going to be able to say hello to. There we go. We've already reached the maximum, but I'm still going to say hello. And I love that I'm still visiting my own zoo. Of course, we're getting a cupcake. What an absolute vibe. Yes, what kind of cupcake am I going for? That's the question. What is it? Oh, the blue one. Good shout. Um... <laughs> anyway oh and it's raining just as i get my cupcake we are obviously really struggling with i'm not even gonna try and say what that is why have you got a low welfare my honey oh because you are sick that would make sense we possibly maybe need to grab maybe one or two more keepers then yeah i mean maybe Going to habitats. Oh, actually, they seem okay. Our vets, on the other hand, these guys feel stressed. Um, our caretaker, they're, they're okay. Uh, let's just train all of our vendors up until at least level two, if we can. So we had this issue last time and I was like, we can get loads of research done. I oh, know it's actually just our American bullfrogs. That's because there's loads of them. Wow. Whatever this disease is, it is taking this suit by an absolute storm. There we go. Still not many of these guys. How many in here? Quite a few again. Wow. Oh, we had some really good ones there. Come on, ostrich are about to inbreed. That's not good. There's only three of them. How are they inbreeding? Maybe this one was a child? Okay, well then, let's release that one to the wild. Let's try and get some more of them. Because normally we get common ostriches like, running around like there's no tomorrow. Wow, none of these are great. Um, maybe if we can get another female in. I don't really want to spend conservation points on it. So, maybe not. But we can get that male in. Don't see why not. Okay. So, we are going to be focusing a lot on vet research we only have two vets doing research if i can get as many of them researching as possible that'd be great and we have staff facilities and drink shops being researched so as we go i'm gonna do as much as i possibly can um just to get them in Okay, let's jump into the animal training again because I did want to see if we can get any like lions or anything like that. Wow, all of these are like so expensive. And there's none for cash. None. So annoying because then you're literally not going to be able to get any. Let's try like a tiger or something. Once again, none. These are like the animals that I feel like you can't get in until you've got loads and loads and loads of conservation points. About an elephant. Once again, none. Nothing. Okay, so what it seems like we're going to have to do then is build out with smaller animals 
get so many conservation credits. Why are you guys all stressed? I mean, I could get it, but why? Weird. Mechanic research is complete. Okay, let's jump back in. Okay, I'm going to go away. I'm going to grab as many animals as I can to just expand the zoo as much as possible. We're going to do some research whilst doing that. Let me just connect these two parts up. I just want to go like that as well. Yeah. Okay, let's choose a new animal to go in. See, the Indian peafowls will bring me in so much money, but they are such a pain in the butt that I kind of hate them. Oh, that tortoise. Oh, we could get some of these tortoises in. Yes, I think we can only have one of each, if I remember right. One male's not to three females, even better. And they only need like a really small thing. Oh, I didn't get their females. Why won't it let me purchase it? What? Oh my god, no. Why won't they let me purchase it? Okay, let's grab this one then. Well, at least that one worked. Oh, that's so annoying. It's saying like weird. Right, we'll just go for one of each then for now. I kind of want to put them in like right here. Because they're only like a really small animal. Like they actually don't need loads and loads of space is what I'm saying. Like I am pretty sure that that would be... Like, big enough? Yeah, in fact, if anything, it's probably too big. Perfect. Vet research is complete. Okay, uh, let's get them researching the cougars here. Let me just double check that I can't. Wow. So weird. Okay, I am going to spend the conservation credits on it. Okay, let's get all three of those into here. Let's build out the Adora Giant Tortoise. I don't think that would be quite big enough for them. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna go for one like this big. These restaurants are like really, really popular. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should be linking some more seating to it. That might not be a bad idea actually. Sorry, I know my tortoises are like literally here, but. Like, should I? be doing that conservation restaurant tables link tables confirm link i'm just wondering if that would like help push customers through more i mean i have literally no idea environment the terrain is not great they want some more sand. Perfect. I want to give them like simple like plants and things. I don't want to go like overboard with it. Okay, let's just grab some more. So we'll do like a dog ball. They want some more food enrichment. To be fair, that's like the only food enrichment I'm actually able to give them right now is the dog balls and the herb scent markers. So if we maybe just grab another dog ball, that'll do for now. Whoa! Oh shit. How have you escaped? Oh, there's like a big old box of animals. Before you escape. Are you still causing havoc, pun? Shit. Go get it! I'm putting the prices up as... Good God. All of them are escaping. Where is this mechanic at? This is unideal. Not ideal. Well, that was not fun. Right, that is a whole vet research thing completed. I'm gonna get Florent. It was Florentino, wasn't it? To do. Oh my god. Who now? How have you escaped again? Like, actually, how? Boria, you're a dick. 
Do you see like a weakness in this or something? Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You're stressed, I'm stressed, huh? I'm out here trying to just, you know, place in my little tortoises. Is like I feel like you're not doing a great job, mate. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm gonna hire another mechanic and that mechanic that I just hired here I think all I'm gonna get them to do is the research what was her name Louisa Okay, my tortoises, as long as they remain happy, right? That dude is already 65 years old. Dudes. Goliath beetles had offspring. Oh, good God. Oh, damn. Alrighty then. Three grand right there, though. Okay, mechanic actually is at that. Okay, so we've got some little tortoises in. I want to try get like one or two more animals. Like, and I'm not now. There are loads of cash ones. I'm gonna pop that one in there as well. Okay, let's see what else. What's an ibex? Oh, they're like a little goat. How many of them can we have? One male and 19 females. That could work. There we go. Uh, so there'll be three of them, but let's just put it up to like five. So it needs to be quite big. Grade two, 1.25. That um, research is complete. That's what I like to see. That's not good. That's because there's like nine of them. There we go. Let me just see if I can grab another like male capybara. That is not a great one. That one is better. Wow, there we go. Now we've got loads of little ones. We do, however, have so many spring blocks. Like, 
Oh, so many spring bucks. And this is where we are going to get like a lot of our conservation credits from is just by selling some of these. Thompson's Gazelle, how many of these? Wow, lots of males, which isn't necessarily a good thing. We just got something though. There we go. Okay, let's get these Ibexes in. I think that's what they were called. What does dilapidation mean? I wonder what that means. Like, does that mean they'll break quite easily? Because I always feel like the chain link fences do break quite easily. Can the Ibexes go in with anything, by the way? Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. The Ibex, they can't. So I don't actually want to create their one like super big then. I feel like it's actually going to be quite big. Perfect. There we go. Alright, let's get these Ibexes in here. Habitats. See, I feel like this episode is already so long and I'm literally just trying to sort things out. Um, So, a lot of this may be cut. What were the animals called? I'll find my bags. Man, what is going on? It's all of a sudden, everything all of a sudden just went very wrong. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right at the worst point. All of those people rushing back out. Oh no! <laughs> well, I mean, that did clear up our zoo a little bit. I'll tell you something the mechanics this episode are. They are, you know, fully earning their money. There are two prairie dogs. What do you mean they're fighting? Oh, no, it's the American bison. I was about to say, I was like, what? Oh, 
Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> we are not doing good. Dehydrated hunt, walk here. Can you not get to it? Another broken barrier? Are you kidding me? Our mechanics are working their butt off. Let me put it that way. Uh, cool. Space issues. Well, that's probably because there's like 15 ostriches. Good God. What have I done? Died of old age. I bet you some of those died of bloody dehydration as well. Cougars fighting. Not good. Whoa. Can I just put that one in the tree? Oh, shoot. I forgot to unbox all of these animals. Oopsie. That's my bad. Why are you so thirsty? Just go to the water pipe. Do you need another one? Is that the issue? Just loving how many there are of everything just you know cracks me up a little bit God, that's going to be a lot of animals boxed. Oh, for God's sake. My good God. Not good. What this probably is telling me then is that we need to make sure. Yeah, so our mechanics are only coming every year. So no wonder they aren't, you know, everything is breaking.
I don't think you can actually release them to the wild if there's an issue with them. Oh no, you can. The whole game just froze. How the hell have you escaped? Okay, friends. Welcome back. It has been like stressful. I was planning on like decorating a whole load of stuff while everything happened. Um, and quite frankly, animals kept bloody escaping. So I've worked out that within the maintenance thing, all of our mechanic routine visits was every like year and even now even though i set them as every three months they're still not visiting all the time so maybe we need to like are our mechanics okay they're like really hype they're like real stressed all of them however they do have a lot of like um Oh, we just... Didn't I just get a new cougar? I could have sworn I did. Oh no, I think I was going to... Okay, we might need to just... I like siblings though, and I don't like them inbreeding, but it's not all I can do right now. Um, let me just pause. Um, yeah, so friends, I had like so many escapees, so many things happen where like it would be like going fine for like a good five minutes, and then all of a sudden they would escape. Uh, we do, however, have quite a lot of conservation credits now. We have like 1,400, which is really good. Uh, let's just look at our research real quick. Um, so we have finished doing... Oh, no, no one's actually doing any research. I think because when I went to go do some, another animal escaped. Apparently we don't have any black-tailed prairie dogs right now. So we maybe need to go and get some more. We'll see what's going on there. So we have finished doing the research on the tortoises, the ibex, the bison, the American bulldog, the cougar, the Eurasian lynx. Um, and then for mechanic research, we have now finished power. Um, we have done the research for barriers, which we did earlier, drinks research, power, shelters and climbing, staff facilities and souvenir shops. Um, so once I've kind of done all of like the basic like mechanical things, I'm going to start making my way through the um, like different themes, I think. I'm not really going to worry about transport rides. I know that they're good, but I never know what how you're supposed to use them. I know you're probably supposed to put them in like first thing. And I have just remembered something else. I have set this up ready to go. Um, because I was getting a bit concerned because we had so many animals in here that are common ostrich were getting just like really really stressed so I'm gonna open this one here up to be common ostrich and common warthogs I think um, before I put those in I'd rather get that barrier fixed not that there is currently anything in here um, so yeah i think it would be oh, i don't know what we're doing this one that's what i'm trying to do i think it would be good to get oh goodness i can't quite do this there we go there we go 
Um, it would be good to get them in there in the next episode and try and get some of these uh, buildings decorated. I know that we don't have to have the buildings decorated, but I think it would be good to. I did also put another restaurant in over here, but this one doesn't seem as popular. But I think it's just because we don't have many animals coming out this way at the moment. But this one over here is consistently popular and this one remains to be very popular. Um, so maybe we should maybe think about getting another one down here. I'm going to grab that mechanic in there real quick. Um, so yeah, I think once we get the common ostrich in, I will let this run for a little bit further before for the next episode. I'm going to get the common ostrich in and make them really happy. Um, when we start our next episode, I think we will start on a new zoo. Um, I do already have a couple of animals in here ready. So I've got like an ibex here and I'm hoping to get some more ibexes. Um, I've got a male Eurasian lynx. I'm going to rehome these two, I think. Although we could still go with them. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but if I get any more like little babies or anything. And we'll try and work out what's happened to our prairie dogs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here. At the beginning of the next episode, I will update all of you guys on what's going on in this zoo. I might even do a quick, quick tour and then we'll open up our brand new zoo because I do think it is time for zoo number two so we can really start expanding our franchise. Now don't get me wrong, I could 100% keep going with this number one zoo and I could keep going but I would also really like to expand out a lot and I know that this zoo has taken me quite a while to get going so I do think I would like to expand that out. A little bit we'll see but yeah i hope you all have an amazing rest of your week friends uh don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a comment down below i know this episode has been a bit of a weird one i i i'm fully aware um i'm hoping it's not gonna be too long but i think it was one of those ones that was needed to be able to progress further to get a lot of the research done and a lot of the little admin things done so that we can keep going with the progress of our zoo. Guys, I do stream over on Twitch every Tuesday and Sunday, so don't forget to check out the link in the description below. Um, you can find all of my social medias down there um, and everything like that. I hope you all have such a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a little comment, see how we're doing. Give me some tips on how to not make our animals escape every two seconds. I hope you all have the best week. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, friends.